Hi, in this video I will be solving four examples. Uh, you can call them an um, expression examples. Uh, there will be no real calculation numbers. We're just going to be using an expression to find the force or the direction of the force and learn how we deal with this. So the first example here, the force between two charges separated by a distance r is f. f the charges are pulled apart to a distance three times the original distance, so it's a three R. What is the force on each charge? So basically, I have two charges. Disregard what is the type of the charge, whether it's two positive, two negative, this is not the subject here. So this is Q1 and this is Q2. The distance between them is R. What we did, we increase that distance we made it three times r now still it is the same charge q1 the same charge q2 now whatever was the force between them we need to find what is happening with the new force so as a start i can say the new r is 3 times the original R. Now, the original force was K, Q1, Q2 divided on R square. Now, the new force will be, I will call it F dash. So it will be K, Q1, Q2 over R dash square. I'm just going to continue here. I'm just going to replace the value of the new distance. Q1, Q2 over 3R and the square. Now, if we're going to do this, I can say this is 1 over 9. And here is K, Q1, Q2 over R square. Now, if we look carefully to this value here, you will see this kq1, q2 over r square. It's representing the value of the original force between the two charges before this increase in separation. So I can say the new electrostatic force between the two charges after the separation increased is 1 over 9 times the original force and that's the logic answer we know that the relationship between the electrostatic force and the distance between the two charges in Coulomb's law it uh, goes under the inverse squared law the bigger the distance the uh, smaller the, the forces so when we increase the distance between the two charges we can see that the force dropped uh, significantly compared to the original one okay now the next example here in this example telling you identify the direction of the net force on charge positive Q this one in the yellow due to the other two charges now you could do that by calculations but we don't have really the distance between the charges but from the picture here we can see that the distance between the green charge and the yellow one and the distance between the blue charge or the 4q and the yellow one it's the same distance which is good but what we could do is kind of like to learn kind of like an estimation or assumption or we predict where is going to be the direction of this net electrostatic force? As a start, I can say, all right, the positive 2Q and the positive Q, the yellow one, they have a repulsive uh, electrostatic force, which means it will be to this direction. Okay, but before I do that, let me erase this one for a second. Now, one more thing you can notice that the positive 2 char Q and the 4 Q the 4 Q it's twice 
the amount of the charge to the tube to the tube it's double which mean the force will be generated by the 4q will be double the force generated by the positive 2q so if we're going to represent that in a diagram or the uh, size of the arrow right this is the size of f 2q and also with the 4q it will be also repulsive going upward like this i'll try to draw it as a double the size of the arrow and that will be the force of 4q now if i want to change the color i can say okay this is the the reflection of the f 2q which mean the resultant or the net will be this one here not necessarily 45 degrees exactly no uh, it should be shifted maybe a little bit uh, to the left up here but we can predict that this is the direction of my uh, the net or the resultant force generated by these two forces I will say it will be much closer to F4Q because it's bigger so it will pull it to its side a little bit more I hope it makes sense to you now the second or the third one sorry the third example if each charge doubles what happens to the electrostatic force between them this is the key one okay well he's talking about the electrostatic force so he's talking about the force following Coulomb's law that's q1 q2 over the distance squared now what he's saying in the question that q1 the new one is double q1 and the q2 the new one it's 2q2 all right good so the new force will be okay q1 the new one q2 the new one over the distance which is the same no one changed the distance between the two charges so what i'll do here i'll just replace the values that is 2q1 that is 2q2 and all divided by r squared now f will be 4 kq1 k2 over r squared once again this value here this value here in this bracket representing the original force between the two charges before doubling them so the new force between the char two charges after the doubling will be four times the original force okay now the last example here if the distance between the two charges is reduced by half what happens to the electrostatic force once again it's talking about the electrostatic force which means we are still following Coulomb's law and the distance it's r squared but what he's saying that it's kind of like different from the previous one the previous one we doubled the charges without touching the distance now we not touching the, the charges but we are changing the distance by reducing it to the half so the distance being reduced by half that means the new r is half of the original distance great so my new force will be k q1 q2 it's not going to be touch it's the same old one here it's going to be r the new one squared let's replace the values okay. 1 over 2 r squared all right let's just continue here on the side let's we'll make the new force equal k q1 q2 over uh, 
r squared over 4 because we squared everything that simply will be 4 q1 q2 over r squared once again this value here in the bracket representing the original force between the two charges before reducing the distance between them so the new electrostatic force after the reduction in the distance between the two charges will be 4 times the original force between the two charges All right I hope you found find these examples useful and hopefully we see you in another video thank you